in this session we will see how to install Java and Eclipse. So before we do that, we try to understand what are all the Java versions that was, uh, you know, that was there till now. So as you see in the chart, it is taken from uh, Wikipedia. So you start from, uh, I mean, uh, we have started Java from, um, you know, 1995, it's a beta version is released and you have 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 5.0 and uh, 6 and 7 and Java 8. So basically we are going to install Java 8 and uh, um, but we are going to mo more focus on uh, uh, understanding Java 5 um, and uh, Java 8 is, you know, kind of a little bit different in terms of language. But in order to, before we straight away jump into Java 8, it's better to understand how uh, Java 5 works and uh, later we can add uh, the new concepts that is introduced by Java 8. So this tutorial is going to be focused on, you know, Java 5 syntax and uh, Java 6 and Java 7 has not much improvements to the language, but Java 8 is kind of, you know, completely, uh, you know, you have to learn a lot of new things with uh, Java 8 and it's a different way of programming basically so and then the next set of versions as you see here java 9 java 10 java 11 uh, java 9 is you know kind of uh, they um, they have done a lot of uh, changes but not really related to the coding perspective um, and java 10 is going to be like um, i mean again they are they all have some uh, enhancements here and there but once you learn the basics of java and once you start, uh, once you are familiar with Java 8, those are all going to come on your way. Okay, so for Eclipse, we are, uh, Eclipse is an IDE. Basically, we are going to, uh, IDE is nothing but integrated development environment. So basically, it is used for, uh, it helps you to write and uh, debug Java programs. Um, you can write a Java program in a text pad as well, in a notepad or a text pad, and you can um, use command line tools for compiling it, running it, but it's going to be a little bit difficult and uh, uh, going to you know impact your productivity um, so this IDE is basically are going to help you in uh, developing the programs much faster uh, it, it you know it, it it's going to you know improve your productivity by uh, features like syntax editing syntax checking and if you if you just you know uh, stuck up with something it is going to give some hel hints and helps and all this thing so it's going to speed up your development process and you don't need to remember all the things when you start doing your coding and also ID helps you to compile and run programs in the same, um, you know, platform. So you don't need to go outside for, you know, and, or type any commands for compiling or running. It's all going to be uh, helping you there with by using an IDE. Okay, so these are the popular IDEs. Uh, you can use any one of them, whichever is your favorite. It's all matter of choice, you know, uh, personal preference, basically what you have. Uh, but this tutorial is going to be more, uh, on Eclipse, which is a widely used uh, IDE in uh, most of the uh, projects but of course you can uh, go ahead and use Intel IJ or NetBeans okay let's now see how to install Java so I'm opening um, a browser and uh, you can go to Google and just type Java download So there you see a um, lot of options here so you can go ahead with download Java the first link and you would see like download Java from for your desktop computer now and you can read some license agreements from Oracle um, basically it was uh, open source before but now they have uh, trying to change it so the open JDK version of uh, Java is open source but the Oracle one is going to be um, not open source anymore but for uh, personal use, they are still giving, you know, you can still uh, consider that as open source product. So you can uh, download Java. Just agree and start free download. It takes some time to download. downloading oh it's done
okay so this is done so let's install this okay so basically you just going to say okay for this and let me ask you some password for your computer just install that so java is installed so you can check by going into your terminal and um, uh, typing java dash dash version uh, I think there is a problem it's giving could not create the java virtual machine we try uh, sometimes it did not work with yeah it's not dash dash java dash version so it's giving you I have downloaded 1.8.0.181 and uh, this is the java version installed in my machine so we're good um, next thing what we need to do is like uh, to install Eclipse okay so again you can go to Google and say Eclipse download go to the first one and I would prefer you to download Eclipse ID for Java E um, so you can also do Eclipse ID for Java developers and if you do Java E this is the enterprise edition of Java so it comes with uh, you know more features compared to uh, Java um, standard development but you you may not need this much features but it's better to install this so that when we need it in future when we develop our, you know uh, enterprise applications it would be helpful for us so go ahead and download this one so download 64 bit So basically it automatically recognizes you know mine is a, a Mac machine so it basically downloads the Java version for JVM and JRE for you know I mean the JRE for Mac but if you're using Windows it automatically detects that you're using Windows and it downloads the JVM for Windows okay so now this is the download uh, for Eclipse so let's get take some time to download it still doing it and once it gets downloaded, we need to install, you know, Eclipse. Okay, so it's downloaded. I'm going to open this. So we have the Eclipse installer. So I say OK. It's going to download this. It's going to download Eclipse for me. Okay. I need basically uh, you can download either of these options. I would go with you know Eclipse ID for enterprise Java developers, as I said before. And this gives me the path where I need to install Eclipse and it chooses Java 1.8 as my virtual machine actually so whatever I Java I have downloaded before it's going to refer to that path and it uses this one uh, so Eclipse basically needs Java to be installed uh, because it was developed based on the Java so I'm just going to install this accept it, accept the license agreements so it's installing, say so accept take some time so when you download as well you know you can uh, download it for your own ways you, you may be using Windows or Linux or uh, Mac so uh, just the same steps uh, but uh, it will may it may install in a different folders uh, 
if you're doing it in Windows or Linux actually. Looks like there's some artifact download is progressing very slowly from the following host, so it may a little bit take more time. That's what I see here. Okay, well, it's getting downloaded. Um, so, as I said before, right, you know, um, we are going to learn Java 5 syntax in this tutorial. Uh, and then, once we complete Java 5 to, uh, syntax, we'll learn about what are the features that is added in Java 6 and 7. And, uh, you know, finally, we go into 8, which is having a lot of features to be introduced. And it, it's a different perceptions in the programming. Uh, so, we'll yeah, I will say yes. Put the certificates. I wanted to accept this. Let's say install. Yeah, I'm going to launch this now. So now you see Eclipse is going to open, and this is where we are going to type our Java programs. So as I said, like you know, we'll be first starting with our basic understanding of Java programs and stuff like that. Finally, we get into the Java 8 syntax, how to, uh, I mean, not syntax, I would say the features of Java 8 uh, and um, work with some programs with Java 8, which makes you comfortable with Java 8 as well. So currently, if you see in any projects that is going on, uh, you know, uh, they are all developed using Java 4, 5, and uh, they are slowly getting migrated to 8. So when you uh, when you go to any company and start developing, you'll be you, you'll be not seeing all the latest Java 8 code everywhere. So they may be migrating soon, but um, what you see for the all, already existing code will be in Java 5 syntax. Okay, so when you open Eclipse, you'll be seeing something like this. You know, like select a directory, uh, select a directory as a workspace. So you can choose, uh, you can change this basically. You know, you wanted to change uh, to any directory that you want to uh, that you want to store your programs, whatever. The programs that you're going to write in Java where you want to store it actually that's what it's basically uh, giving so here I wanted to store it in um, let's say documents and I wanted to create a workspace here like uh, uh, say yeah I want to do it in a um, um, in a document folder where I want to create something called uh, a new folder which is called uh, workspace and say create so and say open. So you see here, mine is created in users Adya documents and workspace. Um, then say I'm going to launch here. So any program that I type in Eclipse IDE is going to use this as the base folder. That's what the workspace means. So Eclipse has started. You'll be getting this welcome screen when you start it for the first time. Uh, if you don't want the screen again, so you can just uncheck this and then say, uh, and you can also say close this welcome window. The moment you close this welcome window, you will see some project explorer here and you will see like, um, um, you know, uh, let me maximize this. So okay. you will see a project explorer, uh, which is used to explore any, um, I mean, it is going to show up all the projects that you created uh, in the left pane. And this is the pane where you're going to type your programs. And um, these are the panes, you know, basically where you will, when you run this program, you'll see the outputs here. And there are a lot of uh, you know tabs here like markets, properties, servers, all these things. So don't worry about all these things. You know, uh, once you start doing programs, you'll be able to learn by yourself all these things. Um, so that's it for this session. So we'll meet in the next session to discuss about our first Java program. Thank you.